my name is Samuel Kusasera. Um, I come from Uganda. I am um, the fifth born out of uh, 14 children of my father. It was crazy growing up in a poor community. And uh, as a poor child, no one could want to carry you when you're a baby. No one wanted to associate with you. Our father died when I was 11 and he left us in a grass sized house. When it could rain, the house would be muddy and floody with water. Then we had uh, an anthill just in the face of the house. So the termites entered into the wood and ate the top of uh, the house. The roof was literally sinking in. I think I am one of those that got uh, registered in Compassion still miraculously. Do you cause Compassion saw the need and actually they wrote a letter to the country office and the country office wrote to the head office and put up a, a modest shelter for us. And that gave us life. Uh, it gave us esteem in the community. The first time I received the letter from Mark and Betsy, they were introducing me to their family. They had a, they had a baby girl, then a dog. They welcomed me to a family. And I kept asking them, why did you choose me among all children? And they were like, God, God showed us to you. So it felt like uh, it was not a relationship that was fabricated, but it was a relationship that was built on a godly foundation. I'm Mark Feldman, and this is my wife, Betsy, and we're from Centennial, Colorado. And um, I actually married into sponsorship through <laughs> Betsy. The thing that stuck out to me about Samuel when I saw his picture was the look of determination on his face. Like, I could tell he was somebody who was determined to succeed, and he was just going to push through any difficulty and adversity, and he truly has. Super, super bright, kind, and very warm, and yeah, just tenacious really tenacious it was kind of our first impression mm -hmm. and the yeah. more that we've gotten to know him that's all true in multiples i already am just blown away by what the lord has done in his life he went from being a kid that grew up most of, you know a lot of his life without his dad went to college got his undergraduate got his master's degree, is now getting his PhD, traveling here to present a paper at, in the U.S. at a conference. I mean, it's just stunning. And hearing him talk about the love he has for Uganda and how, you know, he wants to go back to his village and do things there to help, you know, people in his village. That to us was what we really hoped would be the outcome. I think if it wasn't for compassion, I don't want to imagine it because I don't even know how life would look like. I have been able to push five of my siblings through university because I know someone paid for me and I got the degree through compassion. My siblings did not have the same opportunity. I should be able to give back to the community through them. And for me, that is what it means to go through compassion because it doesn't just give you money, but also the leadership attribute, the cognitive aspect, the spiritual, they blend in and come out, and you come out a very transformed person, a person with a different lens about life. Jesus worked through compassion in my life. It's if there is a savior, Jesus is a savior, but compassion is a vessel that has been able to actually show the truth of salvation to children who are just like me. The Bible is very clear <laughs> that God is a father to the fatherless. I don't think he works in space. God uses people. And I think the person that has been used to father the fatherless, just like me, is compassion. <laughs>